Good morning. Those of you who are long on the tooth will recognize this guy probably immediately. This is Ronnie Carroll. He was born Ronald Cleghorn in 1934 and he was born in Roslyn Street, East Belfast. And he was a singer. He was a, a film actor and he, he was uh, never off our, our TV screens in the 1950s and 1960s especially. And this is Roslyn Street, um, East Belfast. And it's quite uh, humble beginnings. Ronnie's dad was a plumber and he uh, did a milk round as a young fella uh, while still at school. Uh, in his teens he was uh, singing around the, the local clubs in, in uh, East Belfast but by 19 the bright lights and the chance of earning a bit of extra money uh, drew him to London. He was always going to do well, he, he was a handsome fella um, with a, a chiselled jaw and his uh, fine baritone uh, voice got him noticed uh, immediately. Um, he, he was the, he's very much the, the man about town and uh, as I say he was never off the box whenever I was a, a, a wee lad. He was on the Morgan Way show, he was along with uh, Bruce Forsyth, he was uh, you know, a stable mate of Kathy Kirby and, and people like that. He won people over with his, uh, you know, winsome good looks and smile. And uh, he, he was definitely always going to be a hit with the, with the ladies. In fact, he married three times and divorced three times and uh, had three children, or four children. Um, his uh, first wife was Millicent Martin, who <laughs> actually went on to do big things in show business um, over the years. I mean, she, she is, uh, uh, she, what she achieved has, uh, was colossal in the world of showbiz. Um, I remember her very much from uh, what the Frost Report, and uh, that was the week that was. And she went across the Atlantic as well, and it was you know, in Frazier and all, all the rest. And then he uh, married uh, June Paul. And she was an Olympic um, medal winner. And finally he married uh, Glenda Cattridge. Um, later, later on he uh, tried his hand at getting into Parliament and he was a, really a failed politician. Um, he was, he was encouraged to do this, but by, um, by Peter Cook, his friend Peter Cook. That's Peter Cook of Peter Cook and Dudley Moore fame. And uh, the idea was to try and achieve the lowest vote. And uh, Ronnie Carroll stood for the, uh, I believe he stood for uh, screaming lords such as Monster Raving Looney Party. And he was quite uh, annoyed that he, he, he didn't get the, the lowest vote in that. A sort of silly sense of humour. He was often seen uh, knocking about with the likes of Sean Connery and Stanley Baker and uh, they, they, they I'm afraid, uh, let him, well, maybe that he, he didn't need much encouragement um, into all sorts of mischief. Um, and he developed, he had developed a, a gambling uh, um, habit right from uh, childhood because uh, he picked up a love for playing pitch and uh, toss in the street with, with the local kids and uh, the gambling habit didn't do him any good. He, he went bankrupt um, and uh, had to claw his way out of that. Um, he uh, came fourth um, twice on uh, the Eurovision uh, but uh, prior to that he had scored a, a few uh, uh, 
top 20 hit songs in the 1960s and the, the biggest one that uh, you know I can remember was Roses Are Red My Love, Violets Are Blue, Blue and all the rest of it. I can still sing it. And then there was Ring-A-Ding Girl uh, from Eurovision and uh, he, he, these are really established them. So he, he died in uh, 2015 and um, you know, he's part of my childhood and um, I well remember this guy. Um, died in, uh, in Hampstead, London of cancer and he uh, died, he was about, about 80. So he's a long innings but uh, he's another one. Like Jimmy Green and, and people like that, you know, uh, he's gone but certainly not forgotten by the likes of us who, you know, are over uh, 65. Ronnie Carroll, gone but not forgotten. And look at this, there's a promotion leaflet from the holiday carnival. A star studded all laughter summer show and there's Al Reid Ronnie Carroll, Susan Lean, Alan Field, and the Tiller Girls, all in the lineup. It wasn't yesterday. And if you enjoyed that uh, re reminiscence about Ronnie Carl, you've got to thank uh, Chris and Ann, my friends, my YouTube friends uh, over from uh, uh, Bridlington in uh, Yorkshire because uh, they put me on to uh, Ronnie Carl, who, who was lost in the dim and distant alleyways of my memory. Well, I hadn't forgotten him, but uh, they reminded me of this guy. Boy, he was a cool cat. Uh, he would have done really well if he, you know, uh, joining in with the likes of the, the Rat Pack in, uh, in America. He was a sort of same, same smooth, suave, sophisticated uh, style about him. Um, confidence. There you go. Gone for, but not forgotten. Ronnie Carroll from the back streets of Belfast.